Where is the knowledge we have lost in information? Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeffrey. Now, T.S. Eliot wrote that quote back in 1934. Imagine what he would think if he was around today to see Twitter and YouTube and podcasts and books and TV shows were just bombarded constantly with information. But have we been able to convert that into more personal knowledge? I don't know. That's why it's important to have a personal knowledge management system. In a previous video, I covered how I ingest information. And in this video, I'm going to cover how I turn that information into the building blocks of knowledge for myself. So let's take a look. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to make sure that all of my highlights from the information I consume is going to find its way into Rome Research. And I want to configure that export setting so that I'm set up to be able to query it once I'm in Rome. Now what I do is I will change the category and I will add this little PS1 tag. The thing that I'm going to be using as a basis for my personal knowledge management system is progressive summarization, which is a technique from Tiago Forte. Okay, let's jump into Rome and see how I process my highlights. So I have an inbox page set up where I can search for the different levels of progressive summarization. Now, the first level is, like I said, just highlighting directly from the source. And then the next two levels, levels two and three, are going to be going over that same material and highlighting things that still resonate with me, and then going over it again and emboldening an additional set that still resonate. So what you're essentially doing is going over the material three times and distilling out the pieces that connect with you over multiple sittings. So like I said, I like to do this over multiple sittings so that I can be in different frames of mind. So something that I think is important at one time might not actually be as important in future rereads. So let's take a look at how I would do this. If I go into one of my level ones, I will see just the raw highlights that I have. So I'll spend a couple minutes just going through and seeing if anything is still resonating with me. And if so, then I'll just highlight it in yellow. Okay, so now that I've gone through and highlighted what is resonating with me, I will come up to my tags and I will change this now to progressive summarization level two. So when I go back to my inbox, it will now show up in this bucket. So now I have a list of items that I can go through again and then bold anything that is still resonating with me after yet another reread. So let's take a look at how I would do that. So now that I've gone through and bolded anything that still sticks out to me, I can go ahead and change it to level three. And I often find that a lot of the stuff that I highlight ends up getting bolded because I'm a little more selective, I think, when I do my first pass. But that's okay. It's whatever works for you. There is no perfect way to go about doing it. What you want to get to is what are the points that are resonating with you over multiple reads so that when we get to level three, we can start writing it out in our own words as literature notes, which let's take a look at how I do that now. So here we can see a book that I read, uh, Essentialism, which I've been slowly progressing into creating literature notes. So what I'll do is I'll read through these passages that are bolded and anything that I want to kind of capture my own thoughts on, I will write it out as a literature note in my own words. And doing that forces me to have the grapple with the content enough that I can actually put it into my own words. So let's take a look at how I do that. So now that I put it in my own words, there's one last step that I need to do, and that is I need to tag it with the themes that I think are running through this thought. So you can see in some of the previous ones, what I've done is tagged it. The one thing that I do is I put a small L 
So that's to distinguish the tags that go with my literature notes versus the ones that are going to go with my permanent or evergreen notes, which I'll cover in a future video. But what this will allow me to do is I can then search for multiple literature notes that have the same theme that I can then combine together in new and interesting ways to continue to develop my thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and add some tags to this and then we'll be done. So that's a sneak peek into the second part of my knowledge management system, which I'm calling ingest, digest, manifest. Now in future videos, I'll talk about how I take those building blocks of literature notes and turn them into something more permanent. But what I want to encourage people to do is before they set up these fancy systems to track all this knowledge, just find an idea that you connect with and just write about it. If you can demonstrate the value of writing early on, that will provide the motivation and will make you much more likely to succeed with setting up a more complicated system in the future. Well, let me know what you think of this video down in the comments below. I'd love to hear about it and I'll see you all next time.